guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to my channel. This is my little brother Daniel. I'm sure you're familiar with him. Today we're in Connecticut, and we're about to review a place called Three Girls. Um, it's back there somewhere, and I've been wanting to go to this place for a couple of years now. The plan was actually to shoot here end of the summer once I built my camper this was gonna be my first trip because it's only about two and a half hours away from Brooklyn and I figured it was like a safe short trip to take plans have changed because mm, it's complicated long story short they are donating a fridge for the community fridge project in Brooklyn and I borrowed my dad's truck to come up and get it and I figured why not since I'm here shoot my video review while I'm here so that brings us to today where we are here we drove up to pick up the fridge haven't gotten it yet and we are fueling up on some delicious sounding italian food like for real where's the um where's the menu so we're getting the sausage calzone spinach artichoke dip buffalo chicken sandwich and cannoli they have like a whole bunch of other things like pizzas and uh tiramisu that cheddar chicken sandwich sounded really good rubens uh eggplant parm sandwiches basically Basically, if like it's Italian, it's probably here in veganized. We're about to get our food. I'm just gonna pop out and show you the place. Unfortunately, they are like closed to to indoor dining due to COVID. Uh, so I'm just gonna be able to like show you the outside slash you know through the window. But we can go ahead and check it out. I'll see you in a second. Here it is. Honestly, there's not much to see, but we can check it out. I've heard such good things. Finally here. So the way they have it set up now is that once your order is ready. It gets set on the table with your name on it. Our order is going to be about 15-20 minutes, so I guess I'm just going to go sit back in the car and relax till it's ready. I don't want to shoot in the car. Like, I'd rather, like, park somewhere with shade and then shoot in, like, the back, like, in the pickup area or whatever, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do. They said it would be ready in 15-20 to 20 minutes. It's been 17 minutes, so we're going to go check. She just put it out. I literally just saw her put it out. <laughs> Oh, all of this is mine? Yeah, all of this is mine. Oh, nice. Thank you. I just got a phone call from the Three Girls Vegan Creamery owners. Uh, they're the ones giving us the fridge for the project or whatever. Anyway, so they said that their new second location, which is like why they bought fridges in the first place, has tables and chairs so we could eat at because I was trying to figure out where we could eat because like this is a lot of food. This is more than I thought it was going to be. Like this is more... This is more than I thought it was gonna be. They're like, oh, our new location, which is just down the road, has like tables and chairs. Do you wanna go eat there? And, and apparently the baker just like tested out croissants. So we might get croissants out of this too. And I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. So I'll keep you updated. Ah! Excited? <laughs> We're hungry. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. <laughs> this is hands down the heftiest calzone I've ever had the pleasure of holding. Oh, there's a new location. Oh my god, and the seats are in the shade. I'm so happy. This could not have turned out better. I haven't even taken a bite, and the smells coming from this food is absolutely intoxicating. It's so freaking good. Also, the size of this calzone. Like, I didn't, I, I literally expected it to be like a third of this size. It's so freaking huge. And, the, oh, I'm so excited to try this. Yo, yo. oh, and um, these are the croissants. These are the new ones that they baked today to try out the oven. Uh, so I haven't tried that yet yet. And then we have the cannolis. I'm gonna cut open this calzone and Daniel's gonna provide audio commentary and hold the camera. Uh, this is a sausage calzone. It's big, it looks really good. <laughs> And it's been filling the car up with tasty sausage calzone smells. Right. It's also heavy. It's so... so there's, a, there's a ton of calzone there. Oh my... They were not joking. There's a lot of sausage in this. Oh, oh my wow. god. Wow. Mmm. Yeah? Oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Drip too hard. Oh my god. It's the, the pesto, and the sausage is fantastic. Calzone exceeded my expectations. Yes. Oh my god, awesome, awesome. It's awesome. so good. Okay, so I'm going in to the bowl. I feel like I should be tearing bread from the from the hat portion first. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, this is so much. That's good. It's very creamy and garlicky. Mm-hmm. 
yummy. It got a little bit cold from getting out, from being out, which is sad, but it's still really good. My favorite is still the calzone, though. Gangster. So here's the chicken sandwich, the buffalo. Thank you, Daniel. Look at that. Sammy. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. That's really good. The it's my favorite. Part. Is your favorite? Mm -hmm. The calzone's still my favorite. No. The calzone was good. But this. <laughs> this is where it's at. I wish I could put both of us in frame, but like, it's awkward. It's hard to do it. Oh, my battery's dying. One second, gotta change it. I wish there was more ranch. I could dip this in more ranch. Mmm. So you have the seitan, which is fried lettuce, tomato, onions, and I think ranch in there, but I like ranch, so. Last thing we have right here is the dessert. We have a cannoli. This is, this is a warning though. I do not like cannolis. However, I will give anything another chance. I just want to tell you that if I don't like this cannoli, it is a me problem, not most likely. Not a cannoli problem. Actually, not bad. I'm not a cannoli person, though. You want to try it? I, on the other hand, yeah. I'm very much am. I love cannolis. No, that's good. It's good? Yeah, that's good. The cannoli person says it's a good cannoli, so that's all you need to know. <laughs> I get it. I get the hype. I understand why half of my followers on Instagram have been messaging me to go here. I get it. It is absolutely delicious. My personal favorite was the calzone, but Daniel said that the chicken sandwich was better. And not only is the food amazing, but like the vibe, the people were like so friendly and so wonderful. Um, they're giving us also, if you heard earlier, we were talking about this cardboard uh, to try to kind of scooch the fridge onto the truck. So I'm not gonna be including that in this video. It's gonna be in a different video, but like wish us luck. If you're in the area, or even if you're a little bit of a drive away, it's definitely worth it. The food is delicious and definitely hype. But that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.